Hey everyone, Diablo 4 Unscripted here with some random musings about the Spiritborn class. Very excited about this new class which was announced uh, two weeks ago. Yes, we were two weeks out from the Xbox showcase uh, when they announced the Vessel of Hatred, the first expansion for Diablo 4. Uh, included with this expansion is the uh, introduction of a brand new class the spirit born now i want to dedicate this video to speculations about what this class is going to be what's it all about so uh the spirit born is the first brand new class that's never been uh featured in any diablo game ever so it doesn't fall into any of the classic archetypes like warrior barbarian rogue sorcerer completely brand new of course, my uh, my take on this is that it's going to borrow quite heavily from the classic archetypes that we have played and experienced in years past. That that's pretty much unavoidable. Um, so um, timeline wise, what are we looking at here? The expansion is coming out October eighth. As you can see here, a bunch of marketing stuff. Um, the reveal from the official reveal uh, for like a class deep dive is going to come from Blizzard itself. Uh, I think sometime in July. On July 18th. July 18th. In our live stream, we'll be revealing the gameplay for our all new class, the Spiritborn. Spiritborn are apex predators built for the jungle with a flow and a feel I can't wait for you to experience. Lastly, we wanted to take a moment. Okay, so <laughs> a very uh, quick blast of a marketing speak about the spirit born class from the from the expansions game director so yes my take on the spirit born class is it well first we'll we'll separate the discussion into two parts i'll talk about what i want it to be and then i'll talk a bit more about what it will be and i do think there's going to be a fair bit of overlap between those two discussions. First off, what I want the Spiritborn class to be. Get that out of there for a second here. Uh, the Spiritborn class, I believe, well, as you can see in the uh, imagery, uh, they're gonna be a uh, warrior type, a warrior type character. They're going to make use of spears and pole arms. That much is clear. They, uh, they have a strong affinity to nature. Uh, they're wearing uh, some kind of uh, jaguar or cheetah kind of headdress there in, in their armor. So they're initially, I thought it was going to be a hybrid between Diablo 2's Amazon class and what we now know as the Druid class in Diablo 4. And I guess you could say the Druid class from Diablo 2 as well. So uh, first off, they're going to specialize in spears and pole arms. That's not really <laughs> a huge leap in terms of uh, speculation. Uh, so primarily melee based, uh, they're going to have some kind of uh, animal companion where you can summon animal companion to fight by your side. Most notably, uh, some kind of uh, predatory cat like a jaguar. Maybe you can also summon things like, uh, I want to say monkeys, but that's being silly. But who knows? Some kind of jungle animal. Uh, they are described as an apex predator of the jungle. Um, so the fact that they could have command or dominion over uh, uh, other predators uh, in the jungle is not so far-fetched. So definitely uh, a jaguar. Panther or something of that nature you can summon to fight by your side. What gets a little muddy for me is whether it's going to have any sort of like earth spiritual type of abilities uh, where, it, where it kind of veers more towards the magic side of things. When you, when you spec out into more of the magic side of things, for example, with the Druid and Diablo 4, it's unclear to me whether it will have any of those aspects. I really do want a uh, return to kind of like the Spears on style of play that I remember enjoying so much back in uh, Diablo 2 with the Amazon. Um, traps is definitely also uh, a possibility. 
the, yeah, I think it's gonna when you look at that the skill tree of the Spiritborn, it's gonna boil down to very melee focus with spears, pole arms, maybe javelins. It's not gonna make use of a shield. Um, then you have uh, more pet focused abilities where you're gonna be able to summon uh, panthers, jaguars, monkeys, what have you to fight by your side. So it'll be almost like a a, a summoner playstyle. And then what's a big question for Mark for me where you, you you're more of like a support rule player with uh, direct damage magical abilities. I don't think it's going to have much in the way of that. At the very most, you might have some aug augmentative uh, spellcast abilities. But there have been, of course, other leaks and speculations out on the on the internet. So that's where I'm going to come back to the browser here and look through this uh, PC Games N article. So yes, the a warrior connected with the land and the people who lived on it. Here's what we know so far. What is the Diablo Four Spiritborn class? Uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, the Spiritborn hail from Nahantu, which should ring a bell for fans of Diablo Two. It's a long forgotten jungle home to countless ruins. As where the Spiritborn look to gain their power. The apex predators of the jungle, the Spiritborn have a connection with their surroundings. As you venture further into Nahantu, you'll likely unlock more powerful abilities. Okay, and then they go on to the actual elite skills. And this has also been corroborated by other sources, which we'll get to next. Uh, so this was um, taken from Reddit. Some alleged leaks of the Spiritborn class, namely ability names. And so there are four major categories here, with the first one being Sky. So under Sky, we have Razor Wing, Bat Swarm, Soar, Watcher's Volley. Next category is called Soil, where you have Spore Pod, Pestilence, Devourer's Wake, Pounce, and Leech Harvest. Then uh, third category is Forest. Under which you have Dreadful Spiders, Hunter's Claw, Viper Pit, Vine Hook. And then the final category, which seems kind of uh, incomplete, it only has this ability called Vicious Parry. I'm oh, sorry, the category is called Planes, and the ability is Vicious Parry. So, yeah, not a whole lot to go on. Um, and we don't know how legit this leak is. But I also went to Icy Veins, uh, where uh, they uh, referenced the Rob2628, who put together a spreadsheet with file names that, uh, that kind of match. The names of these file names match those of the names uh, from this Reddit post leak. You can see here, let's go, let's go down a bit here. You have uh, Spiritborn Bat Swarm, Ad Projectile. Uh, this is what we saw that in the previous list. Spiritborn Soar Wings Mesh. Spiritborn Sky Control Wings Attack, Spiritborn Soar Fly Ascend, Spiritborn Thorn Armor Split Grow. So just from this alone, I'm getting kind of excited. It seems like this class could have aerial abilities, which, uh, I mean, we have things already, such as barbarians that can leap through the air, and we have more teleportation themed abilities like the sorcerer teleport but actually uh going airborne and perhaps staying in the air for an extended period of time now that is intriguing to me especially when you have this thing called soar fly ascend and sky control wings attack so imagine being able to just uh, sprout wings and these wings aren't aren't simply just cosmetic angel wings that everyone's walk around right, right now because they pre-ordered the uh, expansion. Actual functional wings that come out and allow you to uh, take to the air and rain down destruction on your, on your enemies. Then they have more uh, corroboration here with the um, Spiritborne Force Basic, Spiritborne Soil Basic. It gets a little uh, muddier, uh, you have to say, when it comes to these foul names. But then if you go back to here, there's uh, the whole category of soil. 
abilities with Spore Pod, Pestilence, Devourer's Wake, Pounce. So, not quite traps that I was predicting, but these are perhaps damage over time, like the whole tree perhaps devoted to damage over time. Um, and it's kind of keeping in line with like getting poisoned by things, pestilence, rot, disease. And then uh, I want to say for that third category force, it's going to be more along that uh, summoning animals to fight by your side type of deal. Let's see if we can get some of that in the file name leaks here. And yes, we do. We have Soul Control 1, Dread Dreadful Spiders, dot ani. And what else? Swarm? Was, was there something? There's a bat swarm. Okay, so that is also kind of uh, crossing between the aerial stuff and summoning things to fight for you. So yeah, vine hook. I have no idea what that could be, but yeah, you get you get a lot of overlap between this this file names leak report by icy veins and the the list put forth by PC Games N here. All right. So like, what do you guys think? Uh, what are your hopes and dreams for the Spiritborn class? Uh, some. Variety and I guess a, a, a sort of a accommodating design space for this class is needed. We don't just want a very one dimensional class where it's entirely melee focused or it's entirely uh, companions focused. Um, do you think it's too novel of a class for this uh, Diablo 4 team to take on? There's a lot of disappointment after the announcement that uh, it wasn't going to be a paladin or a crusader sword and board style class. I personally commend the Diablo 4 team for sticking to their vision and uh, coming up with something called the Spiritborn. By the way, the name is also a little um, awkward. Uh, the name itself doesn't... Uh, indicate what the class will be. This is something that was mentioned by the Pure Diablo podcast quite recently where they said, you know, other classes like Sorcerer, Barbarian, they, they the names of the class kind of say what they're going to say what they're all about. You can very clearly sort of infer what the class is going to play like just by their name. The Spiritborn is entirely very theme theme forward. So if the Spearborn is actually more like an Amazon, then perhaps they could have called it like Jungle Fighter or something. But it's got it's got a lot of flavor to it, and it makes it keeps it mysterious, and that, that's exactly what they're aiming for, obviously, because they still got to do their class gameplay reveal on July eighteenth, which is you know a little under a month away now. But I want to ask you uh, out there, please. Uh, Tell me your thoughts in the comments on what you'd like the Spiritborn class to be. Are you excited for it? Do you feel it's uh, this kind of novel, never-before-seen class is a needed thing in the Diablo franchise? Or do you feel like they should have just stuck to the tried-and-true sword and board, give the people what they want uh, type of thing? Uh, but that's it for me. I didn't want to go on for too long speculating. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you enjoyed the video, do click the button for the thumbs up. It really helps me out here. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more videos about Diablo 4, whether it be gameplay or unscripted musings like we had just now. Uh, well, that's it for me. I'll see you in the next video. You guys take care. Bye for now.